Now, this is my chapter 2. And the learning objectives are... One minute. Okay. In this chapter, what we are going to do, that is going to be the learning objective. Land sealer, learning objective. We are going to talk about hobbies. To speak about hobbies. Über hobbies expression. Zish verabreden wochen tage benannen. We are going to fix up appointments and to name weekdays. Über Arbeit, Berufe und Arbeitszeiten sprechen. To speak about work, profession and working hours. Or you say work timing. Numbers 20 onward. That's what we are going to do. You were Yara Sight Inspiration to talk about seasons. I am profil in internet stellen to create a profile in in internet. We are going to learn article there the and does. How many articles do we have? What are the roles? How they are used? We are going to learn verbs and personal pronoun too. That is the accusative case. That's what we are going to talk about. Yana in Frage. We are going to talk about yes no question, plural and substantiva. Plural, they are substantiva, plural of those nouns and the verb haben and sein. That's going to be the grammar section. But before we proceed to the grammar, let us try to solve or understand the learning objective. The first thing we have is hobbies. So these are the hobbies we have. Photograph here, and which, which means to photograph. And if I want to express... I love to photograph or I like to photograph. So how do we say ich photographiere gern? You just add gern in the end with the verb. For ich, just remove en and add e. That becomes your verb. Ich photographiere gern. I like to photograph. The next we have is singen. So for example, how will I say I like to sing? I remove en. And I write E, ich singe, means I sing. Ich singe gern, I like to sing. Ich singe sehr gern, I like to sing a lot. Ich singe nicht gern, I don't like to sing. Similarly is for Kochen. Kochen is to cook. Hmm? I, I want to say I like to cook. I just removed N, so ich koche gern. I don't like to cook. Ich koche nicht gern. I like to cook very much. Ich koche sehr gern. Same is with schwimmen. Schwimmen is to swim. I like to swim. Ich schwimme gern. I do not like to swim. Ich schwimme nicht gern. Reisen. I like to travel. Reisen is to travel. I like to travel. Ich reise gern. Ich tanze gern. I like to dance. Ich jogge gern. I like to jog. Ich höre gern Musik. Whenever we have a noun before the verb, noun goes after gern. Ich höre gern Musik. Verb always on second position. Ich höre gern Musik. Ich chatte gern. Ich gehe gern in Kino. I have this noun. It will go after the gern. Verb number two. Ich gehe gern ins Kino. Okay? That's what our few hobbies. Hmm? Okay, this is about audio, which we might have, uh, which we might do uh, in later sessions, perhaps. Was machen Sie gern? Was machen Sie nicht gern? What do you like to do? What you do not like to do? Okay? I leave this page just for two minutes here. Try to frame sentences of your choice. Like whatever you like to do the most, whatever you don't like to do, just one, two liners, please write. What of these activities do you like to do? What you do not like to do? And write in the chat box. I'll just have a look. Go ahead, please.
करेक्ट प्रीति वॉट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट वॉट आई रिक्वेस्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू राइट डाउन द सेंटेंस लाइक आई लाइक टू ट्रेवल आई डोंट लाइक टू ट्रेवल एनी एक्टिविटी विच यू लाइक टू डू एनी एक्टिविटी विच यू डो नॉट लाइक टू डू इश राइज ओन स्विमर नॉट स्विम एन स्विमर गैरन ई एंड वी डोंट यूज विद इश प्रीति एंड रिशब थैंक्स फॉर द करेक्शन सिंगल ई करेक्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरी वन फॉर द पार्टिसिपेशन दोज हु कुड दोज हु कुड नॉट परफेक्टली फाइन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट which is my verbs and the conjugation in this one you are going to learn how the verbs are conjugated which is very important in this this section so we have two types of verbs regular and irregular this we have already discussed in my in my last session last live session okay you can just go through it so with ish we take e with do we take st with r z s we take t with v r we take e n with e r we take t with z and z we take e n ich tanze gern du tanzt gern er tanzt gern wir tanzen gern ihr tanzt gern sie tanzen gern they like to dance you like to dance i like to dance you like to dance he she it likes to dance and so on irregular verb let's take an example we have a verb fahren ich fare gern auto du fährst fährst gern um you say rad er fährt gern motorrad wir fahren gern anything ear fart gern so if you remember the rule of uh, irregular verbs only do and rzs are different which do not follow the rules of regular rest all the pronouns do follow this structure so just for your uh, understanding uh, all of these verbs are my regular verbs so just all of these verbs are regular verb i just need to remove en 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 from every verb and give them correct ending with ish e with do es with rgs t with vr en t and en you can practice this way like write down every verb on uh, on a piece of paper and conjugate these verbs as per the ending ish cocker ish gear ish chatter ish swimmer ish dancer ish riser ish singer ish jogger ish photographer ish hair do cox do gays do chatters do swims do thans do rise do zigs do jogs do photographers do host rgs cocked rgs geet rgs chatter rgs swimmed rgs thans and so on so forth just a practice now when we ask question let's say ich höre gern musik i'm asking now hören sie gern musik idly this question mark is not required hören sie gern musik or hörst du gern musik this is my this category is called as ya ja, nein frage when such questions are only answered in yes or no so answer will definitely be ya ja, sehr gern yes very like very much or nein nicht so gern no not so much if i change the verb if i say 
singen Sie oder singst du gern? Do you like to sing? Do you like to sing? Formal, informal. Tanzen Sie oder tanzt du gern? Fotografieren Sie anything you can write, you can ask. Fotografieren Sie oder fotografierst du gern? Do you like to photograph? Do you like to photograph? These are my yes no question. If I want to ask, uh, not yes no, but what do you like to sing? Suppose I ask, do you like to sing? And the person says, no, I don't like to sing. So I can ask, warum singst du nicht gern? Why? The verb here comes at second position. Here the verb remains on first position. These are ja nein frage, they are my w frage. W question sentences. Okay. Uh, was singen Sie gern? Do you like to cook? Kochen Sie gern or kochst du gern? My question comes up as, was kochen Sie gern? What do you like to cook? Fotografieren Sie gern? Do you like to photograph? No, I don't like to photograph. Warum? Or what do you like to photograph? Was fotografierst du gern? So if, if you want to ask directly, I do like to sing. Sing and see. Do you like to dance? Dance and see or dance do? Do you like to photograph? Photograph here and see or photograph here. The verb comes at position one. In this way, the, sen the question start with the verb, then comes subject, then comes um, gern. Do you like to drink? Drink and see gern. Do you like to jog? Jog and see or jogs do gern. In these kind of question, the question starts with W question. Then comes the verb, then comes the subject, and then comes gern. Sentence structure. That is how we create sentences. All right. So that's what we talk about our hobbies. Now we are going to go to the second part of the sentence, which is to fix up appointments or name weekdays. So when we say weekdays, we'll do here weekdays, months, and seasons. All these things, three things at the same time. The day, we call it Deathag. The weekday, Deir Wakantag. Don't be surprised of this Deir and D or Das. As of now, uh, we only need to learn these things by heart. So you just need to mug up. Deir Wakantag, Deir. His pronunciation is there as in how dare you. Dare walk and tag. The weekend. Thus walk and end. The working day. Dare arbeits tag. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday.
Friday. Saturday. Sunday. So, Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch, Donnerstag, Freitag, Samstag, Sonntag. The first five days, they are known as Arbeitstage. Arbeitstage, work days, working days. Here, Wochenende. Wochenende. First five days are Arbeitstage, then we have Wochenende. And we always used am um, as the preposition whenever we want to mention on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday. Am Montag, Am Dienstag, Am Mittwoch, Am Donnerstag, Am Freitag, Am Samstag, Am Sonntag. We always use Am. Always no exception. For example, I am traveling on Monday. Ich reise am Montag. In my previous session, previous live session which happened on 15th of August, we discussed about the continuous and affirmative sentences which was very clear. In present tense, we do not have any difference between continuous and affirmative which means I travel and I am traveling means same which is ich reise. Ich gehe am um, Zontag Nak Agra. I'm going to Agra on Sunday. That's what we discuss. We talk about when it comes to weekdays. Any question you may please write in the chat box. Or I am proceeding to the next topic, which is months and seasons. So the month, their monad. The months, the plural is always d. The year, thus yar. The years, the yarn. The okay, um, so we have Januar, February, Mats, April, May, Juni, Juli. August, September, October, November, December. Article for all these months is going to be there, and preposition we are going to be you we are going to use is M. So in January means M. Januar in August M August the seasons which we have seasons D Yaris Saiten we have winter Zoma Herbst Frilling. So winter is winter, summer, autumn, springs. Article is again 
dare and preposition we are going to use is in in summer in summer in winter in winter in in autumn in herbst now in this exercise we have spielen lesen reisen singt kocht we have this exercise where we have to fill these verbs in the blank so this is the information about katya petrov she lives in berlin she lives in berlin and we have to fill these verbs in the blank it says ich koche gern tom und ich gern paris it's a country or a city like we have we, they like to travel which verb reisen and it's plural comes as reisen betty und die bücher betty and the books she what she likes to do there is only one verb which is lesen the least gern and the verb is lesen to read ich lese du least er least wir lesen ihr lest sie lesen sie lesen betty und die bücher sie liest gern das hobby von ben er super it's singing singt er singt gern hannes markus und der fußball it's about game sie plural spielen sie spielen super in this one again we just have to put the correct endings of the verb remember the rule ish e and even if you forget the verb you always remember this verb testen we divide the verb in four parts t is used for er z s and e it is used for ish it's for do for we a z and z is for this one remember the verb testen you'll get the conjugation <coughs> okay zings do zings ish riser ear kommt the small betty meyer spielen the tanzen spielen sie oder tanzen sie because football they're talking to both plural people hallo katya wir kochen ich lese very simple to apply the endings <coughs> right here we have the use of these weekdays gehen wir ins kino do we go to cinema ya yeah, gern when are we going that is called this verabreden when you are fixing up appointments or meetings when are we going am samstag on saturday nay nay is referring to no is another way so you can also say i mean you see germans using nine nay do you call it nay different way to pronounce nay nay das geht leider nicht am mittwoch ja super if we try to frame sentences using these options in theater gehen wir and we replace only the green highlighted words here gehen wir in theater ja gern wann let's say am mittwoch nein das geht leider nicht am samstag ja super gehen wir ins schwimmbad ja gern wann am samstag nein das geht leider nicht am montag ja super gehen wir ins restaurant do we go to restaurant ja gern wann am dienstag nee das geht leider nicht am mit am freitag ja super that's how you need to frame very important when we frame these kind of sentences gehen first place then we have subject then we have location or venue and the question mark gehen wir ins schwimmbad gehen wir ins restaurant gehen wir ins museum gehen wir ins cafe gehen wir ins fußballstadion gehen wir im park gehen wir in museum anything gehen subject location or the venue for this one very easy okay now this exercise we have four text pay attention to the verbs 
We have Harun Arslan, Jilka Yonas, Magda Donat, Fabian Hirflinger. What is expected out of you to work in this sentence? We have to pay attention to the new words, whatever we get. We, we get to know the professions. Ersten, Erster, Arbeiten, Techniker, Studentin, Taxi Fahrer. That's what we need to know in this text. So let's say, spend around two minutes of time on this page and try to identify whether the text belongs to Harun Arslan or which of these four texts belong to Harun Arslan, Jelka Jonas, Magda Donat, Fabian Hirflinger. Though um, those who have already attending sessions with me have done it already. But in case you just wish to spend two minutes, please go ahead. Okay, in this text, what do we see? Thank you for your patience. Ich bin Erstin und Arbeiter. We pay attention to the verb Arbeiter in einer Klinik. I am a doctor and work. Erstin, when you see, whenever you see I and with any profession, it is referring to the female version. So Techniker is the male. The female feminine version would be Technikerin. I am a doctor and working in a clinic. Here Arbeiten 920 Erster. There were here 920 doctors work. Numbers we are going to do. Here, 920 doctors work and we have place for 1,200 patients. Platz is place, für is for Patienten. Ich arbeite 40 Stunden, Stunden pro Woche. I work 40 hours per week, oft auch nachts. Important thing, we are going to talk about it just next thing. Und am Wochenende, you see, am Wochenende and in the weekend. Now, morgen is morning. Tag is day, Mittag midday, Abend evening, Nacht night. If I just add, um, we don't use this Tag here. Morgens, Mittag, let me write this way. If I just write S to these words, that becomes every. So Morgans, every morning. For Mittags, every pre-noon. Mittags, every midday. Nak Mittags, every afternoon. Abends, every evening. Naks, every night. Here, it becomes every night. So I work 40 hours per. Stunden is hours. Plus, place. Arbeiter, work. I am a doctor and I work in a clinic. Here, here is here. 920 doctors work and we have place for 1,250 patients. I work 40 hours per week of every night, also in the nights and I'm walking in there and on the weekends. So what do we have here? This is Magda. We can see a doctor taking care of the kids and it looks like a hospital. Ich bin Techniker bei VW. VW is Volkswagen. We are produzieren. Produzieren. We produce we produce cars in Wolfsburg. Arbeiten 50,000 Menschen. Menschen is people. Or we say better would be humans. Ich arbeite am Wochenende. I work in the weekend. Aber ich habe zwei Tage frei. Ich habe zwei Tage frei. Whenever you are saying ich habe frei means I am free. I have two days free. I am free for two days. Montag und Dienstag. These are my free days. I am a testiker. Harun Arslan. This is number two. This is number one. Ich bin Taxifahrer bei Taxi Central. Ich fahre pro Jahr 40,000 Kilometer. I work for 40,000 kilometers per year. Und ich lese 45 Bücher and I read 45 books. Ich warte viel und lese. I read too much and I read. I wait too much and I read. Warten is to wait. Ich arbeite sechs Tage pro Woche. I work six days per week. Am Montag habe ich frei. And I am only free on Monday. That means he works six days. That's correct. Taxi Fahrer. This is my Fabian Hoeflinger. Text number three. Ich bin Studentin, ich bin von Montag bis Donnerstag an der Uni. I am in the university from Monday to Thursday. Ich lerne, I learn on Fridays and on Sunday. Am Samstag habe ich frei. I am free on Saturday. 
Ich studiere Architektur in Köln. I study Architect in Köln. Hier gibt es 670 Architektur Studenten. Here there are 670 Architecture Students. Zu viele. Too many. This is of course Zilka Jonas, text number four. We have how many verbs in this particular text? Arbeiten. Let's encircle the verbs. Arbeiten, this one. Produzieren. Um, haben. Sein. Lernen. Studieren. Fahren. Warten. Yeah. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven verbs. So which verbs we have? Arbeiten, warten, lesen, haben, sein, fahren, produzieren. These are the verbs which we have. If we want to talk about these verbs, if we want to talk about these verbs, if we try to break these verbs, we can go this way fahren arbeiten produzieren haben warten lesen so pronounce ich du er sie es wir Ear, Z, C. And as I requested during my live session on 15th of August, uh, we are only supposed to learn these pronouns only this way. Please do not, uh, you know, try to learn in any other way. So, ich, fahre, that's my regular verb, do first, er, zs, fährt, wir, fahren, ihr, Fahrt, sie fahren, sie fahren. Ich arbeite, arbeitest, arbeitet, arbeiten, arbeitet, and arbeiten. Ich produziere regular verb. Just remove en from the end. st produziert, produzieren, produziert, produzieren. Irregular verb. Habe, hast, hat, haben, habt, haben. Regular verb. E, st, t, en, t. Ian. Irregular verb, ich lese, du liest, er sie es liest, wir lesen, ihr lässt, sie lesen, sie lesen. Thank you, Preeti. Thank you very much. Sunil, hi. How are you, Sunil? Thank you for joining in and thank you for the compliment too. I'm just learning, Sunil. In this exercise, what we have, we have certain professions. We have to match the professions with the pictures. The professorin, we can see. I can relate. This is my picture three. I can see something written on the board. Professorin. They are ingenieur. Ingenieur, engineer. This could be picture film. Build numa. Picture is called build. Build. Number. Picture number. Ratan is to guess. Guess the profession. Beruf, profession. 
Berufa makes it professions. Okay. The journalistin. Journalistin. Build Numa Ains. Build Numa Ains. Their architect. Build Numa Fia. Their boxer. Build Numa Tsubai. Okay. If I want, these are the masculine or feminine version mix. What could be the male version of Prophet Sovereign? Just remove Ian and replace it with Dare. Dare Prophet Sova. Dare Ingenior, the female version or the female profession is D Ingenior I N. Journalistin. Journalist. Architect, architectin, boxer, boxerin. Was sind Sie von Beruf? That we have done on the very first sentence when we uh, started the session. Ich bin Pilot von Beruf. Ich bin Boxer von Beruf. Was sind Sie von Beruf? That's the question. And was bist du von Beruf? What are you by profession? This is like what are you by profession? Was Zinzi von Beruf? What are you by profession? Was Zinzi von Beruf? What are you by profession? Wann arbeiten Sie? When do you work? Arbeitest du? When do you work? Ich arbeite am Sonntag, ich arbeite am Montag, ich arbeite am Dienstag, ich arbeite am Wochenende. Wann haben Sie frei? Ich habe nie frei. I don't have free. Ich habe am Montag frei. I am free on Monday. Ich habe am Dienstag frei. Okay. This is what we have done. This is done. Audio part, we will plan some other day. Hmm. This is done. Now, let's do some grammar portion, which is left. Silent. The first thing first we need to do is the number. 20 onwards. Salen ab 20. So we have 21, 22, 23, 24, 28, 29, 30, 36, 40, 48, 50, 59, 60, 69, 70, 71, 79, 80, 84, 90, 92, 98, 99, 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on. Thousand. Very easy. What you need to do, just follow this format. Write it 1 and 20 without space. German numbers are written without any space. So one is ein and is und. This format, follow this format. So this is 2 and 20. Zwei und 20. 3 and 20. Drei und 20. 4 and 20. Vier und 20. 8 and 20. Acht und 20. 9 and 20. 9 und 20. 30. We have 3. Six. Only in 30, I am going to use this as set. Rest everywhere, we are going to use 6. And to 30, 40, 50, 60, what we need to do, it's 30. Dry sish, so this is 40, it is 40. Fiat, fiat sish, this is 50, fium, 5 and 40, it is fium sish. Zesh sish. 
70, 80, 90, this is 100. And if we try to write down the missing words or these words, so 36, 6 and 30, which is Zex und Dreisig. 48, 8 and 40, 8 und 40. 59, 9 and 50, it is 9 und 50. 69, 9 und 60. 71, 1 und 70. 79, 9 und 70. 84, 4 und 80. 92, 2 und 90. 8 und 90. 9 und 90. I'm just following this. 1 and 20, 2 and 20, 3 and 20, 9 and 60, 9 and 70, 8 and 90, 9 and 90. That's format. So now it is on 100. This is 200. 300. 400. 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 and 1000 is going to be 1000. That's very easy. German numbers are the easiest one to learn. I am seriously glad to see that you guys are staying with me. Every person is giving me motivation to continue with the next part. Thank you. Okay. The next thing which is to be done in this chapter, Yara Saiten, we have done article De Adidas, personal pronouns too, yes. Now, personal pronoun, what do we understand by personal pronouns too? What do we understand by this one? So, ideally, we know these two categories nominative and accusative what are nominatives if we remember because here we are going to uh, cover grammar in in short and the course in detail nominative sentences are those sentences where we have the subject verb and the information and accusative sentences are those where we have subject object and the verb we have introduced. So I loved <coughs> to watch movies. That's my accusative part. I am watching movie. That's my accusative part. Okay. I like him. That is my personal pronoun too. Accusative one. So let's talk about personal pronouns. Now, this is what which is required. Though we'll do this this thing in detail in in a short description here. But details later. Ich, du, er, sie, es, wir. Ear, Z, Z. So, ish, which is I, which is me. Do, which is you, referring to tu. He, which is referring to where. She, which is again. It, we are, we, hum. You all. Tum sab, you which is my up, and they which is we sab. So ish in accusative, ish becomes mich 
becomes मुझे उसने मुझे देखा मैंने उसे देखा do becomes dish which is तुझे er becomes in उसे z remains z s remains s वियर becomes uns हमें ear becomes oish तुम्हें z remains z आपको एंड z remains z उन सबको सो मी यू हिम हर इट अस you all you them. these are my personal pronouns in accusative the usage of personal pronoun is given in the next chapter any question you may please ask me right now in the chat box we are taking short 2 minutes of break and we'll continue with the next topic in this topic there is nothing else is given so we have this four nama what is the four nama yonathan is the four nama nama mila gebuat's datum birth date gebuat's ort this is my birth date birth place Give what's art? New York. Address? Sir. Where is he living right now? Goethe Straße Sieben Eins Null Sieben Eins Eins Berlin. Telephone number? Telephone number. Handy number? Mobile number. Handy number is mobile number. if we want to create a short profile in internet how would this be for name manoj nak naam pateja vibhish manly these are the two option which are generally given in the forms this is feminine or masculine male or female give what's datum email telephone number have a kaina you can write kaina but handy number you have so you can mention born ort where do i live noy delhi chula you want to mention a a b c privat chula anything na your school education or byte by your company which company you are working interesting मुजीक ऑन ब्यूशा एनीथिंग लिबलिंग्स मुजीक रामस्टाइन लिबलिंग्स फिल्म यू कैन राइट एनी मूवी ऑफ योर चॉइस ना लेट्स से लोला रेंट that's how you create your profile in internet some words which are important here nakrishnan means messages anzeigen is to display or show all hmm? anzeigen show all messages allgemein general information okay we go ahead that's a video we can we'll do some uh, audio and video perhaps some day some other day okay again kurtsun clar spend around 2 minutes on this page and there is nothing we have not discussed just 2 minutes on this page and we are good to go to the next chapter
only two minutes. We have done numbers till thousand only, which is okay. 